My name is Krista Kampe. I'm originally from Rustenburg, but I reside in Joburg now and I play for TUT, which is Tony University of Technology Ladies Team and I'm a goalkeeper. So I was playing netball, I did athletics, I, I was actually a sporty child and I was allowed to play any sport that I wanted to play. But the problem was that I was, I was never exposed to football as a child. So when you're a girl, a young girl, you need to do ballet, play netball and all that. But when I got to university, which is University of Johannesburg, I got an opportunity to actually start playing football and I enjoyed it. I initially started as a defender because I wanted to be a defender but they realized that I have such good handling and I can organize the team. Then they allowed me to be a goalkeeper. Yeah, hey, crazy, crazy. How many? How many? Just two. Yeah, yeah, what's up? I've always loved football, but so I only started when I was 25. Yes, it was a bit late because when I got to university, I was on netball battery and I was also playing basketball. So I just only started late, and uh, even though I loved it since I was a kid. So I only started late, but because I'm athletic, it wasn't that hard for me to learn. I started playing for University of Chinese Beck, um, and that was in 2009 when I started and I started also because of the, the team spirit, the excitement and that's what actually influenced me to actually start and uh, from the University of China Spec I moved to Mamelodi Sundance Ladies, I played for two seasons there and then I moved to TUT Ladies because I actually work at Tony University of Technology and I'm fond of the players there and the team there and I love what they stand for, the principle, the style of play and I'm like a lecturer to most of the players, so I, I enjoy playing it. My mom took it okay because she knows that I'll, I'll try things that are impossible. For me, I'll just go to things especially that are difficult. So um, she allowed me to actually start playing. She allowed me to take whatever that I wanted to do. She was sort of shocked in a way, but she really allowed me to play. The first time she saw me playing, somebody heard me and she wanted to jump onto the field. But she's like, you have to match out, you know? But then when it comes to my dad, my dad was never really part of my life, but um, since I've been playing football, she, oh sorry, he speaks to me and uh, he's always loved football and um, he's supportive because he always saw me as the son that he never had, even though I'm a girl. At home, I have just one little brother and from my mom's side and from my dad's side, there's quite many of us and uh, nobody really played a role. Uh, normally, I'm the one who starts things and everybody else follows. My little brother used to play in, in school, but he never really carried through with football, but everybody has always been supportive of me no matter what I choose my family is very very supportive